Welcome back to the shop. I'm Kirk Anderson. Now this week's video, I'm making an air filter box to go around a mini split that I just installed. Now I'll be making this filter box out of two by fours. But first, I need to mill them down to the dimensions that I want. As I'll basically be making a series of frames that will hold the filters and then attach the frames. And the frames will be composed of one by ones that I'll mill out into two by fours and then some quarter inch plywood. And to start this milling process, the first thing is to go over to the jointer to flatten one side. And then once that's done, it's over to the planer to make the other side parallel and bring it down to the dimension that I want. And then it's over to the table saw to cut the strips. And also at the table saw, I'll cut the strips from the piece of plywood. Now for the majority of this project, I'm just going to use glue, no screws or nails involved. So as with any glue up, put the glue on, spread it out so it's a nice even film, and then using clamps, just clamp it tight until the glue cures. Now the vertical pieces of the frames, they don't have the piece of plywood on them. I'll add that later. But again, it's just being put together with glue and clamps. And to ensure that it's square, I'm using a square. Now, in order to secure the filters into the frames, I'm drilling a hole for a bolt to put a latch on. Now, I said most of this project is just glue, but there will be four screws and the pocket hole screws. And this is on the cross pieces that will attach the two smaller frames. Again, make sure it's nice and square and then apply clamp pressure before you drive the pocket hole screw in. Now with some more of that quarter inch plywood, I'm gonna apply a top to it. Again, I'm just gonna use glue and clamp it down nice and tight. Well, I didn't use every clamp I have in the shop for this, but I did use the majority of my shorter ones Now the bolts that are gonna hold the latches to secure the filters, well, I neglected to pre-drill a countersink. So I'm going back now to do that. The first thing I'm doing is I'm putting a guide in there because I'm gonna be using a Forstner bit. And now to secure the bolts in there, I'm gonna put a little epoxy on them and then tap them in and that should hold them the bolts aren't really going to be holding that much pressure. I just don't want them to be free moving. So a little epoxy fits the bill for that. Now the front of the box is going to be on hinges. That's how I can open it up and access the unit. And to make the box as airtight as possible, I'm putting some window weather stripping in there to help keep the box as tight as possible. Now to attach the hinges on the front frame, I just pre-drilled. And with most small hardware like this that has small screws, I'll put a dab of CA glue on there and then drive the screws in. Now the way the box is designed, the bottom is open. I'm gonna glue a piece of plywood onto the front to close up the bottom. Again, this will be attached just with glue and clamp pressure. Now the bottom piece that's on the front frame, well the back of it doesn't go all the way to the unit. So there's gaps. Now in order to fill that gap, I'm gonna glue some foam to the bottom piece. I'm gonna use contact cement for this. Now this particular contact cement is actually designed for leather. It's a little bit thinner than the contact cement that you get like at the big box stores, but I tell you what, it works fantastic. Just press it on there a little bit, and that foam is not going anywhere. Now it's time to attach the front frame to the base. Again, pre-drill a little CA glue 
and then drive into screws. Now I need to be able to latch the front secure. So I'm going to put a latch on there again. Pre-drill, a little CA glue, and drive the screws in. And I'm sounding like a broken record. Now to make the latches to hold the filters in, it's just a small piece of wood. Drill a quarter inch hole in there to go over the bolt. And I'm also putting a piece of that window weather stripping on there that's so it'll secure the filter in there nice and tight. And to secure the latch, just a washer and then a wing nut and tighten it down. And there it is up on the wall. And the reason that I put the front on hinges is that so I'd still be able to access the unit to clean the filters inside the unit. Now I can't open up the front of the unit all the way, but I can get it open far enough to get the filters out. Well, that's it. This filter box is ready for action. Now my space is very limited. That's why I use these size filters. I have two 12 by 20 filters on the front and then on each side I have a 12 by 12 filter. This should still supply plenty of airflow for the unit. And I made sure that the top of the box was at least six inches above the unit and that there was at least five inches on each side. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, all you woodworkers out there, just get out there and cut some wood.